Hey guys, uh, my original intro got deleted and it was kind of long, so I didn't want to just upload without one. Um, yeah, it's just basically I was seeing how you guys are doing. I hope everyone's doing okay. Comment down below how you guys are doing. Um, I'm just trying to, I don't know, get through each day, you know. It's scary right now, just what's going on, but... That's why I thought I'd put up a video. Obviously, you know, I dumpster dive. I can't really do that right now. The stores are closed. So I thought I'd do like a palette um, collection, dumpster dive. <sighs> if I could talk, um, some of my favorite palette finds, dumpster diving. This definitely isn't everything I have. If you guys want a part two after watching this, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely do that because I have a couple boxes of palettes. These are just some of my favorites, what I was most excited for. But again, I was excited for all of them, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, and if you guys have any ideas of any content you'd like me to put out, any videos you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to do that because I just... Alright, I fixed the lighting, so it's much better now, so yeah, it's in like perfect condition, and it smells like peaches still, and then next was the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Gold palette, I think I found this at TJ Maxx, pretty sure, this, where is it, this shade is so... It's so pretty. You can't even really say it, but I think it's this shade. It's all like dried out. I may have to like scrape the top layer off, but I think you can see that a little bit. I don't know. It's so pretty, or it was. <laughs> I'm gonna have to probably. It's probably dried out a little bit because it was so like soft. Alright, next is the chocolate bar. I was looking for this forever. I almost bought it because I wanted it so bad. And here it is. An old glory. It's beautiful. Alright, and next we'll go with Tarte. Some Tarte palettes. Again, this is not nearly everything, but... And I, like I said, I have a lot of dupes, and yeah. So next is this Tartiste Pro Remix. I found like four of these. This one, I believe, yeah, this one's missing a couple shades that are dumping all over me, but whatever. The other ones are in really good condition. I just grabbed this one, so... And I've given, I think I've given one away, or two away, maybe. I've sold one, so I still have two, though. I, have, I always keep the one that's not that great and try to sell ones that are in really good condition. And then they were coming out with these little baby ones. And this one, I think, is, yeah, this one's, like, brand new. It still has the, um, place, you know, the protective thing on it. It's never swatched or anything. I think... It came with, like, a box with a bag with, like, other stuff. So I got rid of the box a while ago. And next is the Tartiste Pro, the original. I found one of these because when I started first started diving, when I first started diving, they had, I think, you know, they were just done, like, having these out. It seems like... If you go to Ulta, I go to a couple different Ultas around the same time, obviously, they'll be getting rid of the same testers, so that's why I, I guess I find lots of dupes. And when I start diving, I think it was towards the end of, like, the hype for that one. Alright, so next is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Again, really good condition, just that one. And then this Tartiste Pro Glow Blush. Let's 
Ooh, pretty, pretty. I like that um, the highlight in that one. And then we got another little one, Man Eater. And yeah, this one is, see they put the line through it, but it shows you some of the conditions you can find them in. There's still plenty of product left. So, yeah. I have a couple of these that are in good condition. Again, I'd rather save those or I've sold them or to give away. And I keep, like, those ones. Um, okay, yep, yeah, that's it for Tarte. And then, let's do some of these. And then this Anastasia. I found two of these this one this glow kit which is the sugar which is in like perfect condition i don't even think it's swatched doesn't look like it and it's got the protective thing so pretty obviously yeah i don't use everything because if i am going to get rid of it or something i don't want to swatch it if it you know what i mean um but I've used quite a bit of things. So, yeah. Next, we'll stick with Anastasia, the Norvina palette. I love this palette. It's so pretty. I've used this a bunch of times. In really good condition. I like her palettes. And then this Juvia's Place. I've used this. It, the packaging is like kind of, it got like wet. But it's pretty. I just use some of the shimmers. Shimmer is like my favorite kind of formula. And then from Benefit, this Benefit Pretty in the USA. Like, yeah, again, um, like they drew in it, but there's still plenty left. It just has the whole, uh, the Rocketeer and the Dandelion Twinkle, kind of like they do with all their stuff. They just repackage the same items over and over again. I think they need to come out with something new. Here is from ColourPop, the Fame Palette. ColourPop is a really good formula. They're like creamy and they blend well and they're very inexpensive like 12 14 dollars a palette and then urban decay okay i was so excited i wanted to okay i don't even know if this video is going to go up tonight because i have about had it it like just keeps cutting me off saying too much video anyway urban decay the ultimate basics i was Looking for this forever at TJ Maxx's when I knew that that's where they were at. I finally found one. The black's always messed up in a lot of these palettes, but it was like perfect. I actually found like two, I think. I gave my friend one. And then Urban Decay Heat. Also perfect condition. the tart toast it a little bit and then this I was so excited for I found this recently when I went dive in it's in one of my videos I think when I wasn't finding like barely anything it was like so badly destroyed and then I seen this and it was perfect and gold colors are just look at that oh, I can't see uh, probably because I'm barely touching it but it's beautiful Alright, and now we'll go to Morphe, 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 Morphe. So we'll start with Jacqueline Hill. Okay, so I got the Vault Collection, all of them. The, what is this, Bling Boss. I found a few of these that were really in bad condition, but I finally got all of them. I think this is the armed and this is dark magic. And then this one is ring the alarm one. The orange, yeah, the orange one.
And then this is the Armed and Gorgeous. Perfect. And then the ultimate one. And this is the original one. You know, I know there's all this drama on if you bought it, I don't know, from Ulta, like in the last couple months or the last something. The packaging's different, like this isn't on there and they changed the formula too where it's Supposedly it's like this formula, which people are upset about because everyone really liked that. I really like this palette. It's awesome, so I'm sure it's the original. I mean, it it looks like it. And I got a while ago. Well, not that long ago, but I got two of them. I got rid of one, and they were both the same. All right, and now recently, I'm sure if you see my big videos, my big hauls recently, I got the mini James Charles, which that other one is just so big. So, I think he should have just came out with this from the get-go. And then we got this one I'm so excited for. Jeffree Star Morphe. I looked for this and I always found it destroyed. So, a couple sheets are a little crumbly. I gotta be careful the way I'm holding this because I gotta repress it. But I, I found two of them. The other one's in better condition. And then Morphe 39L hit the lights. I heard a lot of good things about this. I haven't used it yet, but supposedly this is like Morphe. It's so pretty. Morphe is so like hit or miss. Some palettes are great and awesome, and other ones are not that much. They're just not very, um, you just never know. But I heard a lot of people rave about this one in particular, so I'm excited I found that one. So let me see. Is that everything I want to talk about? Oh, I forgot. I don't think I mentioned this one. The Born to Run from Urban Decay. I'm so happy that I found this. Sorry, I'm trying to these mirrors, but some of these shades are like a little cracked. I don't want it to all fall out. It's so pretty. I might even show that. I don't know. I'm tired. But that wasn't all my palettes, but that was, you know, a good portion of the ones I was really excited for. So if you guys want me to do a part two, I can. It probably needs to be a couple parts, honestly, um, to do this because I have probably like, mm, probably like two boxes filled with palettes. Because I have a bunch of little ones, like the little steel ones I really like. I forgot to grab that one. But, you know, those are ones I was so excited when I found it. But again, I'm excited when I find any of them but I mean I was really excited so I hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up I hope it wasn't too long and if you guys have any ideas for videos for content you want me to do just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to do that for you cuz I don't know what to do guys <laughs> I'm running out of ideas and I am probably be working still. I don't know. I just don't know. But, alright. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Alright, guys. Stay safe out there. Just hug, hug your loved ones. Alright. Bye.